I often get asked this question, when did fashion come in? And it wasn't like a sort of pop-up book. I wasn't really that interested in fashion and it sounded too grand and too pretentious. And I did love fabrics and textiles and creativity and art and architectures. And, and, um, and I was probably very influenced by my mother. Um, she was Sri Lankan. And she wear a lot of theatre portrait, Bill Gibb, Ozzy Clark, and my father was a medieval historian. People often ask me about my, when was my breakthrough, and I, I always feel quite nervous of saying breakthrough, because hopefully you're breaking through every day. But sort of go back to sort of early part. Uh, my first collection I did was on kind of pirates, I mean velvets and brocades and damasks, and it was very tailored and, may I say, quite sharply executed. And I was very fortunate, and I was very supported by press, and women's wear which is like a Bible, and so I was bought quite well on both sides of the Atlantic. So I was recognised. I think I'd be where they're more comfortable with for my style and what I was trying to achieve. Despite quite a, a small collection, my, we've had a presence in the V&A in, in New York and Met, and I am um, obviously a very privileged and very delighted to be supported in that way. I think the pieces, despite it's, as I said, a very focused collection, they're very distinctive and they're very recognisable, and they're very much of sort of English quirkiness, a sensibility, um, flirtation and some flamboyance, but done in a very kind of um, cool, lay, not cool, but laid back way, subtle, I guess it is. I suppose it's like a cathedral, very simple on the outside and very decorative inside. There's a lot of irony in them, and maybe that symbolises a, a sense of British style. I think my, one of my greatest influences, I was very influenced by my kind of mixed heritage. My mother from Sri Lanka is a very flamboyant family, colourful, feisty, bright, hard workers, and the colours, the history. And then from my father's side, the arts and crafts, sort of sense of simplicity, uh, my father's love of history and teaching us as children and invoking our creativity and enthusiasm. So I suppose that really boils down to my parents are probably my biggest influence. Thank you.